You've seen John Cena being buff, but you've never seen John Cena in the buff, until now that is. But there was a surprisingly deep inspiration behind that skit that you probably don't know about. With moments like Ryan Gosling performing a spirited rendition of the Barbie tune I'm Just Ken, the 2024 Academy Awards weren't exactly lacking in playful guy energy. However, the crowning achievement on this front went to none other than actor and WWE star John Cena, who turned up on stage in the kind of outfit the costume-conscious ceremony guests wouldn't dream of wearing on the red carpet. Absolutely nothing. Cena's moment of extremely public nudity was part of a skit where host Jimmy Kimmel attempted to replicate a streaking incident from 1974. At the 46th Academy Awards, a man named Robert Opal ran on stage and showed a V hand sign, among other things, creating temporary mirth and mild mayhem among the viewers. Opal was a teacher, activist, and performance artist who was fond of arranging flashy stunts to protest the general stuffiness of society. And while his streaking didn't disrupt the ceremony for too long, he certainly drew attention to himself. And interestingly, he wasn't arrested for his antics. Instead, he got a press conference. This isn't too surprising, considering how the streaking at the 1974 Oscars was hardly an isolated incident. The act was a massive fad during the early 1970s, reaching its peak in 1973 and 1974. We're good! Streaking! After the Oscars, Opal did arrange other performance stunts. Notably, after Harvey Milk's killer Dan White utilized the Twinkie defense to get a lenient sentence, Opal set up a pretend execution event for White at the Gay Freedom Day Parade. In an earlier instance, a streaking protest led to four months in jail. However, there's no telling how far Opal might have taken his artistry over the years. He died in 1979 when a pair of armed men tried to rob his art gallery and one of them shot him. On the surface, the 2024 Academy Awards used Opal's streaking incident simply as a way to transition into the John Cena skit. However, what transpired on stage had plenty of similarities with Opal's brand of artistry, either coincidentally or by design. Despite the sometimes goofy shapes his work took, such as streaking at the Oscars, Opal was a gay activist and a provocateur who was willing to put his well-being on the line for a cause he believed in, sometimes clashing with the authorities while doing so. Not unlike this mix of absurdity and seriousness, Cena also left it all on stage and combined laugh-out-loud comedy with deadpan concern. After Cena sheepishly told Kimmel that he had changed his mind at the beginning of the skit, the pair went on to have a debate about the suitability of streaker comedy in the award ceremony environment, and whether the male body should be treated as a joke. Yes, Cena soon turned things to pure comedy by taking the stage while holding a strategically placed award envelope in a way that made it clear he wished his iconic, you can't see me taunt was literal. He even received a very nice dress before presenting the Academy Award for Best Costume Design. Still, that doesn't take away the fact that the sketch also included discussion about self-determination, body image, and what constitutes good manners, serious subjects wrapped in absurdity, just like Opal used to do. It's hard to say whether the original 1974 Oscar streaker would have enjoyed the Cena skit, but Opal might very well be pleased that the Academy hasn't forgotten it.